Hey you guys, welcome back to The Nursing Diary. My name is Sierra and I'm gonna be telling you guys everything about my iPad. I get so many questions about my iPad. I have been waiting for me to post this video. This is very highly requested, so now I'm going to be dropping it, how I use my iPad in nursing school. Let's get right into it. I'm just gonna start off with the aspects of my iPad. I have the iPad Pro 11 inch second generation. It is 128 gigabytes, it is space gray. You can buy this iPad for about $7.99 at Apple or you can buy something similar and maybe even cheaper at Best Buy. I also have the second generation Apple Pen and this Apple Pen has like the fine tip on the end. It has this flat part here to where you can double tap when you are writing to change the tool that you're using. It can switch from eraser back to pencil. It can switch from highlighter to pencil, however you like to use it when you are writing. I have the second gen Apple Pencil, which is about 129 bucks. You can find it used if you want to find it cheaper. You can also find the first generation ones, which I think are only $100. And you can also find different dupes on Amazon and things like that. And they all work similar to the Apple Pencil. The Apple Pen pretty much charges by itself. It's wireless. As soon as you attach it to your iPad, it is charging. As long as the iPad is turned on, the Apple Pen is charging. It is great. It's matte finish, magnetic, and it has the pressure adjust when you're writing. So the harder you write, the thicker or bolder the line will be and the lighter you write, the more thinner or smaller the line will be. Okay, another aspect of my iPad is the case. I have a Logitech combo case or Logitech combo keyboard and this has a separate case. It can detach if you want just the case and it allows you to be able to sit it up and things like that and if you want to type, you can always attach the keyboard. The light underneath the key so you can see all of the letters, maybe if you're typing in the dark. It also has an unlock button so you can unlock your iPad. It has the numbers on it. You can type on it. You can do everything with this keyboard. It literally turns into a mini laptop when you put this keyboard on there. This Logitech keyboard with the touchpad is $199 from Logitech. It's a lot cheaper than the Apple one and I think the Apple uh, touch board is a l about $300. So if you want to save some money, you can do the Logitech one. You can also buy them used, Facebook Market, Amazon, some other dupes and things like that. And then the last aspect of my iPad is the paper like screen protector. This screen protector is literally almost like paper when you're writing it just feels like paper. The texture is the same. It kind of is like a matte overlay on your iPad. You can find the paper like screen protectors on paperlike.com I believe for $39.99. Okay now let's get into all the little fun aspects of my actual iPad and how I use it and things like that. So this is just my home screen. I don't use anything on this page in particular, so I always go to the next page, and the first thing I click is Notability. You can find Notability on the App Store, and I believe it is about $7.99. This is the app I use to take all of my notes. It is wonderful. Some people like good notes. I decided to go with Notability, and I've loved it so far, and I do believe it was $7.99. literally just downloaded the brand new upload for Notability, which has really cool new features, which is amazing. I really love it, so let's get into it. This is what my notes section looks like. I, on the left, I divide all of my dividers based on color and subject. So I have my calendar here, and this is just where I leave my calendar, and I always look at it just to scan out my day. And this calendar was an in-app purchase. You can buy it down here where you click this little pencil, and it has in-app things where you can buy, customize your Notability app, and buy planners and things like that. So I just bought the 2021 planner and this was my planner for the month of November and it is a little crazy and it looks ridiculous but <laughs> this is how it's been. I used it for October, September, literally ever since I've been in school this semester. This is just how I organize my calendar and it is a little messy but it is what it is. And then I divide it by my other classes. I have my adult health one class, I have my mental health class. And I have my child health and I always keep also like the, the the class code because sometimes like you need to include it when you send an email or whatever. So anyways, I just included those. You can change the color of the class. For my adult health class, I like it to be purple so I keep it purple. So say if I wanted to go ahead and divide more dividers and more subjects to my adult health section, I can click here. I can click add a divider here say if I want to divide it by unit exams and then on here I can add another subject and I can type exam one for instance and now I'm going to drag exam one down to where it says unit exams and in that divider it will include all my unit exams and then I can drag and drop 
everything from exam one into that ex unit exam divider. So you can divide it any kind of way that you want. You'll just have to play around with it. Sometimes like if you're not into like high tech things or if tech isn't your thing, you might have to play around with it. I definitely had to do that because it gets a little tricky. The different aspects to the writing and the pens and things like that, let's just get into that. Like I said, you can type if you click the T on the top. This allows you to type anything that you want. You can type it out, you can write it out if you click this pencil up here. And for my pencils, I literally like, you can organize what colors you like. These are just the colors that I specifically like. They have so many different options. These were the original options that they include on the Notability app. And then over here where it has these little hearts, these are the specific ones and the specific colors that I like. If you're looking for a specific color pattern, you can like Google hex codes or you can just add a color here with this plus sign and you can drag whatever color you want. One thing that I like to do is like I like to start at the darkest color and then work my way up. So when I created these, I started here, click the darker color, move it up, go to a lighter color and then go to like the lightest color. That's one way that you can create all of the colors in your um, customized color scheme for your pens and pencils and things like that. And like you can see here, there are different sizes that you can use to write with. This right here allows you to adjust what kind of pen you want. Either you get one specific size or you can do this one, which is like pressure adjust. So I'm gonna draw hard and then when I lighten up, it'll get a little thinner thicker when you press down and it'll get thinner when you like lift up. If any of that makes sense, I hope it makes sense. Uh, for instance, like if I write hard, it'll get thick. And if I write thin, I mean, if I write light, it'll get thinner. That's always an option there. And right here you have just the highlighter options. It's literally the same thing. You can do any size, any pen adjustments and just the highlighter. You can change the highlighter option. I literally highlight everything. I like using the highlighter, I use it very often. Here's the eraser option. If you use the whole eraser option, it allows you to just draw over the portion that you want to erase and it'll erase the whole thing. Or if you do the partial, you'll have to just scribble over what part you want to erase. If I only wanted to erase these specific parts, that's all that it will erase. This part, it allows you to circle what you want to move and you can move it anywhere which is really really cool usually if you're drawing um, a circle for instance and you want to use this circle over what you wrote over here it allows you to do that which is really really great and then this option here this little finger allows you to press and type anywhere or scroll when you're writing because you can't do that when you have the pen marked you have to only press the finger so that you can scroll on your screen. This option here allows you to record anything that you write, anything that you say, and you can go back and you can replay it. One thing that I really like about this is that if I wrote something at a specific point in time when I was taking my notes, I can literally click on that specific part and it'll replay. If I wrote something at a specific what I said at that moment, which is really, really great. So if you're writing your notes while you're listening to your lecture and you write one specific thing and you want to remember what that professor said at that specific point in time, you can click right there on that specific part and it'll repeat what you recorded at that part, which makes your notes so wonderful. And I love it. It's just amazing. So now I'll actually show you what some of my notes look like, how I write my notes, how I highlight my notes and it really just depends. Sometimes I type my notes because it's a lot faster and I don't have time to write out everything. Sometimes I will freestyle my notes and just scribble notes. Sometimes I will write specific notes and the colors that I like to use when before I had an iPad was always blue, pink, orange, and yellow. So I try to stick with the same thing once I started doing it on my iPad. Some people like to take notes like super aesthetic and stuff like that. I used to do that, but I just don't have time to do that. So it's just more useful to stick to taking the notes the same way that I always have before I had an iPad. For instance, here on this specific section, I literally type out all my notes. Blue is the subject. Pink is like a sub subject of a specific topic. And then orange is the sub the subject of that sub subject. And then yellow is the details <laughs> and red is the super important things. And then I would just go in and write things on the side. That is one specific example. 
Another example I have is my handwritten notes. I have a lot of handwritten notes for my child health class. For instance, right here, I have most of my handwritten notes and I literally just, everything in blue is the topic, everything in pink, signs and symptoms, treatment, nursing implications, and the yellow thing is just the specific thing. And one thing that I like to do, um, being a multimodal learner, I like to include pictures and I like to sometimes record the lecture so I can hear and then include a picture at any point in time. You can go to photo library, you can go to stickers, you can go to web clip, you can type in literally anything and it'll let you type in, for instance, bone. Bone, what is a bone? And if you like this picture here, you can open up Notability on this side and you can drag and drop. If you just press down, drag and drop, it adds your picture to the document, which is really, really nice. And then you can adjust it however you wish. Down here, you can customize whatever fonts you like. Like if you're typing, you can click these hearts and these are the specific fonts that you like. They have so many different kind of fonts here. One thing that I usually do when I'm writing my notes is I like to upload them to a Google Drive or I might upload them to my email. So I'll click up here and you can create a link. One thing that you can do is share notes with people who also have Notability. So if you know someone else with Notability and y'all want to share notes, you can create a link. You can allow people to look at your notes. You can literally release it live on the World Wide Web. So anybody on Google can look at your notes or anybody literally searching the internet can look at your notes. You can email it to yourself. You can email it to other people. You can share it via text message. Google Drive, one thing I usually do is I add it to my Google Drive. And I had I have a Google Drive folder literally for almost every classes that I have, every class that I have. So I'll add it to my child health pediatric notes and I can press export and it'll just export it. And when I go in through Google on my computer, I can look at my notes from anywhere if I'm on my computer instead of my lap or instead of my iPad. So I hope that video was helpful for you guys who have been asking me about my iPad, who have been asking me about what I use, how I take my notes. That was a quick overview. I hope I answered all of your questions. If you guys have any other questions, please include them down below in the comments and I will try to answer all the questions that you may have about my iPad that I did not include in this video. Again, I hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to always be kind, love yourself and others and always go out and try your best and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye. It's not a game, it's a rich thing.